Oh, over the years, a handful of professional sports teams have called Vermont home. Many find it difficult to sustain, sustain any success. NBC 5's Jack Mayne tells us the story of Vermont's only professional basketball team and how they have built success in a post-pandemic world. It's always been my dream since I was a little kid. You heard that right. There's professional basketball in Vermont. The Bennington Martins, part of the revamped ABA League, have called Vermont home since 2021. Started by a coach and his former player, giving collegiate and international players a chance to grow their game. When you look at a lot of these cities, a lot of these towns, a lot of them have ABA teams. So I said, why not, do, why not Bennington? Coach Pratt isn't lying. Rebooted in 2000 after the original league merged with the NBA in the 70s, the new version of the league has 132 teams across seven divisions, making Bennington a perfect pocket to bring basketball talent to Vermont. A lot of colleges in this area are closing. A lot of guys are not able to finish these colleges. They needed a play. They needed some place to really thrive at. College of St. Joseph's, right in Rutland, Vermont. John Riles is one of those players. His career was cut short after his college closed. Now in the ABA, he is building his resume, hoping to get a chance to play at the next level. It gives us a lot of outlets being part of this team. Going into the community, you know, having people see our faces on top of the uh, exposure that it gives us for basketball. We're training them to, to be professionals. And while they're with us, we're teaching them how to be presentable, how to organize themselves, how to eat correctly, how to communicate well, especially with agents. You know, we're always talking to agents or owners of, of other organizations and teams. The team is even helping a player maintain a worker's visa after a tryout with the Detroit Pistons was nixed because of immigration laws. I was in uh, Las Vegas. There was like a pro-am, all pros coming through, Lamella Ball and all them other guys. This guy saw me and he was like, this boy got raw deep. G League uh, talent, but when they found out that I was an international player, I didn't have the right visa, so I had a visiting visa, not the workers' visa. Now with the Martins, the Antigua native is grateful for the opportunity to play in the United States. You just got a people that just love you and helping you along the way. While they're working, you're working, so you can the work has never stopped. You know, again, we have to have something for these kids to do in this community or it's just going to go a different way, you know, especially with all the things that's been happening over the last few years. I think it's very important for me anyway. Kid and Pratt know not every player is going to make it past this level, but at least they can give their players the opportunity to keep the childhood dream alive. Even if one guy goes, it's a success. You know, not everyone will be able to play abroad. Maybe this will be the highest level they compete on. And so it's our job to continue to grow it. We do want more, and we're going to get more because that's just who we are. In Bennington, Jack Main, NBC5 News. It's Friday night, which means the sports desk.